Sure. That way, we got a little bit of a, a life too much. Okay, so now, ex bourbon from the Bimber Distillery in uh, fashionable London. Yes, indeed. Oh. So, this is our virgin American oak. Not virgin, no, no. Ex bourbon. Okay. So I'm expecting a slightly sour note compared to what we just had, which was the virgin oak. Oh yeah. Yeah. Characteristic. And this is also around about three months. Thirty months. Thirty months. Yeah. They're all about thirty months. Thirty months. And what is the ABV of this one? Cast strength, sixty-three and a half. Exact. Sixty-three and a half again. So actually, well, that one, yeah, sixty-three point eight. Ah, oh, and there's the bottle. There's the bottle, and that was the Ameri the, the Virgin, and there's the um, ex bourbon, mm -hmm. and that was the new make that down the, the bottom. DNA. The DNA, the juice, the juice. Okay, so, oh yeah, this one is uh, okay. I'm gonna try it neat, but then I'm gonna add some water because I know that it's 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 well, closed. Well. It's closed. It's yeah. very closed. It's it's uh it's got her she's got her legs kind of kind of hidden, hidden under. Yeah. Her knees are stuck together. <laughs> what is this whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> whiskey 101. Her knees are stuck together. Her, her knees are stuck together. We want her to open up. That's not getting monetized. <laughs> Sure it is. <laughs> what they can't catch, I can profit from. <laughs> Don't forget, we've had a, a, a whiskey to begin with. Yeah. Oh no, it was a, it was a, no, not a new make. It was a, it was an actual, um, the one with the port finish. Yeah. I had the port finish. Got some more of that for you, so no need. Okay, no, and then we had, we had the new make. And we had the virgin oak, and now we're having the so so. I've had a couple. You know, we're building up. We're building up. So we're slowly taking our time. And so if, if the odd um, expression comes out, so be it. Mm. We're getting quiggy with it. <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure. I feel like I can make a mark to a cost. It, it's got that really nice. That's what I was thinking that it is. It's got that make, or the maker's mark or the Mifford um, Reserve. Yeah. It's got a very different character because when you try all these different ones, like when I was at Deeds, I tried a couple of different ones and you can distinctively tell some differences. Mm. But this one has got a very unique sort of character on that one, the next bourbon. Yeah, and there's. definitely not a Jim Beam cast. No. No. I don't think there's, no. there's no nuttiness. Getting a lot of caramel. I mean, Coffee. They have, they have been, the barrels have been toasted again. We toasted a little bit. Oh, to, yeah. To grade three. There's vanilla. But there's. This has a little bit of an alcohol burn compared to what I had before. This has a bit of a burn to it. There's a little bit of a nutty spice, like I'm getting a nutmeg. Which spice? Mm, yeah. Very peppery, quite leathery. Back I'm not spices. getting, I'm not getting leather so much as spice. There's an alcohol. I'm getting more of a burn than I did on anything so far. I think water will open it up, and when I when I nose it, there's a there's a, it's a little bit sweet, sugary. Ah, icing sugar, icing sugar, definitely. And that's with the nose half plugged up. It's still quite fruity. It's still um, quite a dried, dried fruits, I guess. Not as fruity as like the... Um, it's fr fruity, yes, but not as fruity as the um, 
as the Amer uh, as the uh, white oak, uh, virgin oak. There's one thing it reminds me of, it's like one of those uh, rhubarb and custard sweets, mm. crystal, very crystallized sort of thing, and it's got a little bit of like uh, candied apple. It's more like a red apple. Yeah, red delicious. Yeah. yeah. Hint of cinnamon. Tiny little bit of brown sugar. Yeah, it's in that vicinity. Yeah, it's, it's like a mixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's right Once there. again, it's one of those that has a little bit of everything that's hiding behind the corner and wants to stick her head out. Yeah. Needs a tiny little bit. Three drops. Quite dry though at the end. Three drops. I'm still getting all the vapors from the from the whole distillery <laughs> as I'm going along. You're getting the angel shit. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna grow wings in no time. <laughs> yeah. So what's really cool is you can drink a whiskey and you're literally right across from the distillation process. Where most of the time in Scotland you're just sitting miles away from your actual stills mm. and from the warehouse. Sometimes you can if you're doing a warehouse tasting, but yeah, you get everything all in literally one place. In the warehouse, yeah. Just literally from the door there to the other stills. You've got the cast of jarring. Yeah, that separates us from the white line. Yeah. But what you... So the white line is that side is duty free. Uh -huh. And on this side you pay the taxes. I so see. The bonded warehouse all over there. And this little area is taxed. Taxed. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that little white line is... makes a massive difference. Duty free. You're, so you're duty free, I'm and duty the, free. that that white line. <laughs> this is where we're burning. Okay. Which is weird because you don't have an exciseman just sitting there, exactly. and there's it, a little booth. And yeah. there's no there's no spirit still, which is also beautiful. Or spirit safe. Sorry. Spirit safe, there's right. no spirit safe. That's I'm getting my terminology mixed up, but it happens. <laughs> After I come back from Scotland, well, yeah, maybe I'll know less about what I'm talking about. I'll just be, uh, you know, throwing words out there and people go, oh, yeah, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. I'll, I'll just bullshit it and I'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing a good job so far, haven't I? Okay. We'll save some for later. What is? I'm gonna give you guys a bit of the, the sherry finish. Uh oh. So again, cast strength. Um, this one is 63.5. Beautiful. And are we talking that one there? Yeah, that's the last one. And it is um, sherry. sherry finish. Is it almost? Oh, that's so what I'm asking. Sherry aged. Just. Uh, this is a PX. Yes. Oh, PX. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So it should be. I'm still. I'm still on this one. Enjoy. Keep it aside for a bit, and then come back to it. Okay. I'm just gonna forget what it is. No. I'll, I'll, put I'll, I'll, okay. I'll put it on the bottom. Just a moment. I added some water. Yeah, see how it changed. I added some water, and it's. I think it's more. Uh, it's diluted compared to what it was. It this this just takes. It's a press of the nose quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You still get the texture, which I like. But I do find it a little bit more spicy. After adding water? Yeah. Certainly. It's still got that little reaction because a lot of people don't realize when you add water, it's creating a reaction. Yeah. So what it's doing is then it still needs a little bit more time for it to just balance and marry together with all the flavors. Yeah. So people think it just does it in a split second, but it does need that little bit of time and then it will ease up a bit more into oxidization. All right. So this is the PX Sherry. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very Christmassy notes. Very kind of dried fruits. I'm getting. I need to. I need to. I need to be up 
The last time I drank was about two weeks ago. I'm getting a bit rusty. I need to smell it. Are you going to be at the uh, whiskey light? I, uh, yes, I will be, yeah. Strangely enough, I'm getting something smoky again. That's probably from the di direct fired still. Yes. And I'm not it getting... Does have a bit of smokiness to it, yeah? It does. It does. And usually, you d I, I don't usually associate smoky with, uh, with um, sherry, unless it's been peated as well, which it hasn't. No, not this one. Not this one. I got vanilla notes on it. Yeah. You get very sweetness. Um, dried fruits get a lot of plums kind of flavored. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely plums. Dates, that kind of sweet plum cake also. Figs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm stone getting fruit, figs. stone fruit, yeah. yeah. You're getting dark cherries. Dark cherries, chocolate. I get a lot of chocolate also on that, like dark chocolate. Now we got the power of suggestion working on it. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh oh. You broke the forklift. The whiskey weighs a lot. Yeah. Now I'm getting a, I'm getting a fruit cake. I'm getting a fruit cake, exactly. Fruit cake. Ooh. The Christmas fruit cake from the Lions Club. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And it's also got a cherry. I'm getting that cola cherry. It's like cola sweets. There's those there's those those marinated cherries in the fruit cake. They're coming out too. Yeah, like but, brandy cherries kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's true, you know you. You pick up more when you're bouncing your ideas off someone else, and I don't. I'm usually by myself. Me and, too. That's and I, you sit there in a studio, you're trying to do tasting notes, and then you taste loads of different things, and then you film the videos, and whilst you're filming them, you're also tasting other different bits and pieces. And then when you finish with the video, you finished with the video, and you still have the glass there, and you, you're getting something else. Hey, wait a minute! I didn't. I didn't film that. And you part. want to go back to it and do it. No, then I add a little bit in the description saying, oh yeah, at the end I got this. Or there might be a little bit of that in there. That's why, you know, if I make a 25 minute video, sometimes that is not enough. And for some whiskeys, 10 minutes is enough because there's nothing there. So that's the problem I have. So I do like nine takes. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. I, I do one take and I think, oh, it's good. Then I'm like, I'm actually getting this now. So I go back to it. And the worst bit is when you keep filming again, because for me, I like to do all the one take, and then yeah, yeah. just cut out the bits where I'm nosing in between. Which makes you the king of five minute videos. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's under 10 minutes, that's I can't. Goal. I can't do that. I have to, I have to give you, because I'm, I'm... Suspense in between. The, the I'm nosing. a kind of a... So I think the sherry and, and the port are the ones that really uh -huh. explode once they're opened up. It's smoky character really starts to come out now. Oh yeah, pudding. more than it did. The yeah. Christmas pudding will come. It's like it's like a, a Christmas pudding, but just yeah. a little, little fire. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Little... That's exactly what I was thinking. With wow. rum, yeah, and and, the, and, and lit, lit, lit on fire. Yeah. Lit on fire. Exactly. Yeah. Flambe. Yeah. That smokiness, yeah, it does come out. Uh, as I was going to say just before, that I'm I'm an old time vlogger from the early days of YouTube, and. You're not vlogging unless it's one take and no cuts, no edits. It's one take, it's live, it's almost live. Yeah. Ah. Oh wait, now I'm getting a cocoa, a chocolate, a cocoa, along with the, along with the fruit cake. It's like a Nestle quick powder, you know, in chocolate milk. Oh man. And a little something else. I'm trying to place it. It's a, it's, a, it's a syrupy. That chocolate syrup that you put in your milk, it comes in a in a plastic bottle. Nesquik kind of thing. That's it. Nesquik. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. This is what I'm getting now. Earlier, before adding water, I was getting the Lions Club fruitcake, but now, now I'm getting Nesquik. Less of the fruits, although they're still hiding, but the Nesquik has come to the come to the forefront. 
Uh, and that's just the nose, my friends. I have not gone to the Casa yet. Uh, yeah, Casa Thirty. I've been about thirty months old. Sixty-three point five on the exam. So cask strength. Cask strength. PX sherry. Oh my goodness! Look at all. You've this. got the DNA. Yeah. The, the new make. Um, the Virgin American Oak, Virgin, the X Bourbon, Bourbon, X Sherry, X Sherry, and now we're gonna go for. Wait, um, I gotta test the X Sherry first. <laughs> Take your time. I'm gonna be pouring here. Okay. Well, My yeah. My favorite, the port. Let it open. Oh, that's the one I tried earlier. That yes. was the first one I had. So yes. we let it open up while we uh, finish this one. Yeah. Okay. The color on that is breathtaking. Let's see now. The color. color. If you look up up against the light, that pinkish. Oh yeah, that pinkish tan to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it is quite pinkish. Well, we got the outside light and it in between. I can't see it from here, but maybe hopefully, the, hopefully, maybe the video will uh, will work out. Okay, and that's this one. No, this is the one I just. That is the X Sherry. That's, I still have the X Sherry. Okay, that the port so is that's that your one, uh, bourbon. Bourbon, yeah. There's the X Sherry. Okay, so I gotta gotta taste this first because I've only been nosing it, or I think I tasted it and I'm nose it with nosed it and taste it with water. Oh my! Hmm. Hmm. It is wow. This is one that you take and just enjoy all the There is chocolate, there is fruit. The fruit is it's like ripe and dried fruits like plums and things like that. However, it's not dry. They're they're um, they're stewed. ripe. Ripe and st yes, stewed. Yes. But let, I got to get another mouthful of that. There's a texture to it that is that is just uh, I can't describe it as anything but sandy. It's a sandy texture, like sandpaper, but not in a bad way. Hold on. Mm. Mm. It's like it's like there's some little guy inside my mouth with very fine grit sandpaper just shaving off the skin of the roof of my mouth and I've never encountered this before. This is just wild. Mm. When I describe uh, when I describe what like for example yeah. that meaty chewy and that texture that sinks into your taste buds. And it almost makes them feel individual. It feels like a separation from the palate. This is no. This is doing something. Very okay. okay. Yeah. Right, it's dry, and it's like like sanding off the skin, but at the same time giving a coating. That's it. It's a coating. What? A coating of. <laughs> and it's soft at the same time. On one side it's soft and on the other side it's harsh. This is just incredible. I've never had anything like this before. <laughs> Slancha. Mm. I only gave it three drops. The texture is, ah, and this one hangs on too. It's got a long, 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 long finish. It just, just stays there. My goodness, this is an experience. This is an experience. <laughs> ah. Food queen.
Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> <laughs>